Good morning, everybody. We are going to be working on our C's today. Remember Katina Cat? She goes, k, k, k. We are going to be working on our C's. Our so at the very top, you are going to be writing your name. Don't write my name because your name's not Mrs. Ross. If it is, that'd be kind of cool, but... No, you're going to write your name up at the top. Now, you can write your first and last name if you'd like, or you could just write your first name. It's up to you. Now, we are going to go over to the side, and I'm going to move my paper over just a little bit, and I'm going to zoom, 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 so that I can get to my corner. Look at our C's. Our C's are one of the easier letters to write because all you have to do is go around. But it is open here you got to leave this part open because if you connect the two, you're making an O, and we don't want to make an O. We are almost making an O, but then we're stopping. So just think about it as you have to feed the C. So the C's got his mouth open. you got to make sure the mouth is open of the C so he can eat. Okay, so you're going to start up at the top for your capital. You're going to go all the way up to the sky. Come all the way down to the grass and then stop. Both the top and the bottom don't touch this dotted line, which we don't want them to touch that. All right. Now we're going to go down to the little C. The little C stays in the grass area. It goes up to the dotted line and down to the grass. All right. It stays in that green area. It does not get super big and it doesn't get super tiny. We don't want to do that. We want to see the C. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go over to our first C. I'm going, oh, our first C is over here. Silly me. Okay, so underneath the cat, we're going to start with our first C. We're going to trace our C, go up to the sky, down to the, gra or down to the grass and around. Up to the sky, down to the grass and around up to the sky, down to the grass, and around. So we're just tracing right now. You're going to be finishing up your tracing. Now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to start a little below the top of the sky, and I'm going to go up to the sky, down to the grass, and around. I still have enough room here for my sea to eat. It's still touching the sky, and it's touching the grass, the bottom line. I'm going to get my color out to be my finger space. And I'm going to go right above the line again. And I'm going to go up to the sky, down to the grass, and around. I'm going to move it over. Up to the sky, down to the grass, and around. There's our C's. You guys are going to continue on and finish up this line. Then we're going to go down to our little C's. Our little C's are the same thing, just tiny. So we're going to go right underneath the dotted line, to the dotted line, down to the bottom, and around. So under the dotted line, to the dotted line, around to the grass, and down. Okay, so right under the dotted line, up to the dotted line, go down to the bottom, and around. I want you guys to finish each one of these C's. Then you're going to do your C's at the bottom. My C's, I'm going to start a little underneath the dotted line. I'm going to go up to the dotted line. See, I didn't go above it. I stayed right below it. I'm going to come down all the way to the bottom of the grass. It didn't go down into the dirt. It's still staying in the grass. And I'm going to come around. Now look at I still have enough room for my little C to eat. Because my little C, someday is going to grow into a big C. So it needs to keep eating. I'm going to give my my color there or get my color there so that I have my finger space and then I'm going to start again just a little bit below the dotted line. I'm going to go up to the dotted line down to the bottom and around. So we don't want our C's to look like this. Okay that's too small of a space. So we don't want this and we don't want and also look it it's floating off into space. We don't want it to float off into space. We don't want a little astronaut see that's you know flying to the moon we want to keep them nice and low onto the ground we also don't want seas that are way down here because look it our sea is sinking into the mud 
If our sea sinks into the mud, it's going to get dirty, and its mom's going to be like, what are you doing? It's not going to be happy. And we need to make sure our sea doesn't get way up here. Because first of all, it's floating again. And second, it's up in space. We don't want it to be up in the space or up in the sky. All right? Okay, so I want you guys to practice the correct way. So practice these ways all the way across. When you're all done, we're going to go up to the top. We are going to be coloring these different pictures. So let's look at the different pictures that we have. We have a crayon that makes the k-k-k sound. We have a cop, which we call police officer. We also have k-k-corn. That's my son's favorite kind of food. And we have a k-k-cat. A lot of people like cats. Cats are pretty cool. I'm more of a dog person. So I'm going to first take my crayon color. Now if you look at your crayon, is it all one color? Or do we have two colors here? We have two colors. So when I'm coloring my crayon, I'm going to make sure that the top is nice and dark. Taking my time, making sure it's all colored in. I'm going to make my second part a little lighter. And then I'm going to get my black out. Or whichever color you would like to use. Actually, I'm going to use blue just for fun. I'm going to put blue here and blue there. Then I'm going to go back to my other color. Notice I'm taking my time and I'm coloring inside of the lines. That's what I'd like you guys to do too. Remember, practice makes perfect, okay? I will see you tomorrow for your D's. Air high five. You guys did awesome. Here's me giving you a thumbs up. Woohoo! Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.